We know that vaccines have proven an effective way to control epidemics like polio and smallpox. Shouldn't we have vaccines against cancer? Yes, we should. And the Cancer Research Institute is very close to making the promise of cancer vaccines a reality today. It is now evident that standard treatments like chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation have reached their maturity in terms of effectiveness, and new cancer treatments are needed. By mobilizing one of the oldest biological forces at our disposal, our own immune systems, cancer vaccines offer the greatest promise for dealing effectively with cancer. Dr. Lloyd J. Old, director of the Cancer Research Institute's Scientific Advisory Council and director of the International Ludwig Institute for Cancer Research, is one of the world's foremost experts on the immune system's relationship to cancer. The development of cancer vaccines is one of the oldest dreams in cancer research. The hope is to focus the powerful forces of the immune system on cancer cells wherever they exist in the body, precisely in the way that the immune system protects us against infectious diseases caused by viruses and bacteria. The Cancer Research Institute is the only non-profit private organization in the world dedicated to the realization of this dream. CRI's founders recognized early on the importance of the immune system's vast disease-fighting capabilities. Since 1953, the Cancer Research Institute's mission has been to fund research that will lead to the development of immunological therapies for the treatment, control, and prevention of cancer. Utilizing the expertise of its Scientific Advisory Council, which includes Nobel Prize winners, members of the esteemed National Academy of Sciences and the Academy of Cancer Immunology, and drawing upon the generosity of foundations, corporations, and the public, the Cancer Research Institute has supported and trained generations of immunologists and cancer immunologists worldwide. Over the past decade, remarkable advances have been made in our understanding of how the immune system recognizes and destroys cancer cells and how we can strengthen these immunologic responses to cancer. CRI's singular commitment to exploring cancer's relationship to the immune system has paved the way for the revolutionary breakthroughs in cancer therapy that are taking place all across the globe right now. Dr. Jill O'Donnell Tormey, a former CRI postdoctoral fellow, has served as CRI's executive director since 1993, and under her tenure, the rapidly evolving field of cancer immunology has produced some of the most exciting discoveries to date. Scientists have identified and isolated the markers, called antigens, on cancer cells that the immune system recognizes. They've also developed methods to monitor the immune response to these antigens in patients. In much the same way that vaccines for infectious diseases teach the immune system to detect and target the viruses and bacteria that cause these illnesses, we now know that cancer vaccines can stimulate an immune response against cancer. Moreover, vaccine therapies promise to be less toxic, more targeted, and longer lasting than current treatments. That's going to have a huge impact on the lives of cancer patients and their families. The Cancer Research Institute and the Ludwig Institute for Cancer Research have formed a partnership to capitalize on these scientific advances and have assembled a team of outstanding laboratory and clinical scientists to create successful cancer vaccines. This is an exciting adventure. This powerful partnership, launched in 2001 as the Cancer Vaccine Collaborative, or CVC, has produced an unprecedented global coordination of early phase cancer vaccine clinical trials at many of the world's most renowned cancer treatment centers. These trials are testing cancer vaccines in patients with lung, ovarian, breast, prostate, and bladder cancers, as well as melanoma, sarcoma, and other common cancers. What makes the Cancer Vaccine Collaborative Trials different from other clinical trials taking place today is that instead of being mere standalone investigations, they are integral parts of a greater whole, each occurring simultaneously at clinics throughout the world. Unlike other trials, the CVC clinical trials employ standardized monitoring technologies which allow for an accurate measurement of the immune response to vaccines. This standardization across multiple sites allows data to be directly compared, 
and therefore analyzed expeditiously, accelerating the discovery process and shortening the time it takes to develop effective cancer vaccines. The momentum is building and CVC investigators are growing especially enthusiastic about the exciting results of the CVC studies. Dr. Cunley O'Dunsey, a gynecologic oncologist and attending surgeon at the Roswell Park Cancer Institute in Buffalo, New York, is the principal investigator on a CVC trial testing a vaccine for ovarian cancer. The CVC is a very powerful collaborative group um, in the sense that it, it brings together the finest clinicians and scientists from around the world to ask very critical questions about the best way to conduct immunotherapy trial. Dr. Nina Bardwaj, director of the tumor vaccine program at New York University Medical Center, reports on the success her research group has had testing immune-based therapies in melanoma patients. Well, in late-stage melanoma, a chemotherapy has really exhausted its potential. And we have several indications now that immunotherapy could have a major impact in the treatment of patients uh, with this type of cancer. The advantages of immunotherapy is that patients can use their own immune system to combat their own cancers. Time is of the essence when dealing with cancer. Tackling the complicated cancer problem requires us not only to ask the right questions, but also to approach those questions from many different directions simultaneously. Dr. Stephen Burakoff is director of the New York University Cancer Institute and director of the Skirball Institute of Biomolecular Medicine. The strategy today is in fact to develop better and better vaccines uh, to invoke our immune system. So therefore, the faster we can turn around the data that we accumulate from any given vaccine and move to the next step is absolutely essential ultimately to have uh, the best vaccine possible. This coordinated effort to drive cancer vaccine research forward is producing enormously gratifying rewards for science and more importantly for cancer patients who have exhausted the gamut of standard treatment options. One such patient, Louisa Kreisberg of New York City, is battling metastatic breast cancer and has been treated with a breast cancer vaccine through the CVC. I speak as someone who's had radiation. I've had chemotherapy. I was not qualified for surgery. But I know I, with a gut feeling that my immune system is keeping me very much alive and I would like to do everything I can to support it so that I can stay alive. The Cancer Vaccine Collaborative is giving cancer patients like Louisa new optimism. Already, the CVC has seen remarkable successes in stimulating an immune response against cancer, including strong indications of sustained protection from cancer recurrence. These successes, however, do not come cheaply. The cost of running larger scale clinical trials that can administer vaccines to more cancer patients is a daunting hurdle. Public support of CRI's cancer vaccine program is indispensable to its continued success. Clearly, I know as the head of a cancer center that the conducting of clinical trials are exceedingly expensive, but absolutely essential if we're ultimately going to affect changes with these diseases. So the support that we need to be able to conduct these trials and change what happens for patients with cancer is expensive, but in fact, uh, it will save lives clearly in the next several years. I believe vaccines give immense hope for patients. Certainly, I have great hope, and hope is a very critical emotion when you're fighting this disease. Cancer patients like Louisa are looking to CRI to create the hope by pushing forward the discoveries needed to produce the next generation of cancer therapies. The Cancer Research Institute's Cancer Vaccine Collaborative is bringing these new therapies to patients today, giving them the treatment options they need to live longer, healthier lives.